Living nowadays in a developed country means that we are actually one of the luckiest people that walked on this planet. And we are actually living in one of the most prosperous times people have ever experienced. I like to mention that a lot with when I'm outside with other people and they sort of react negatively. You know, they start saying things like, uh, the mentioning the economical crisis, mentioning even conspiracy theories a lot of times, how everything is against us. And I believe that the reason people do this is because they react to the fact that they are not happy themselves. You know, even though they have most of the uh, conditions around them to be happy, they are not. And a lot of times they are not even uh, trying to uh, become happy either they admit it or not or either they're not even aware that they are doing that so living nowadays means that you will experience a lot less disease you are going to live longer i mean people just 200 years ago lived under the until they were 40 and nowadays we live until we're 80 and you're also not gonna experience war, which was a pretty common thing in the past. And generally, you are pretty much a lucky bastard. So, why aren't we happy? I mean, most people nowadays are pretty uh, unhappy. A lot of people are depressed. A lot of people, you know, just have that nagging feeling and they don't know why they can't be happy. The reality is that we experience a lot of pressure from society, from parents, from everybody to, you know, fulfill other people's ideals. We uh, struggle to, you know, get that perfect uh, time in the future to get that, to arrive at that perfect moment where everything will be great, but it never really arrives. And we're constantly replaying negative movies in our heads of past experiences and you know how we would uh, want them to happen instead of how that happened and like that like that's gonna make any difference and we're also imagining of a different current moment you know we're imagining how things could be right now instead of experiencing the actual now or at least instead of uh, working on actions that will bring us in the future closer to that state we want to be in and all these negative thinking patterns trigger in our body emotional responses right we um, get angry we get afraid and that results to being sad and basically these emotional triggers which in the past served us for survival purposes because they produce in our bodies chemicals that made us more efficient in a flight or fight state when we had to either fight um, a predator or whatever or run away from it. Uh, nowadays these triggers, these emotional responses have ended up becoming just biological baggage and our body gets charged with these emotions and instead of discharging by acting upon them because basically emotions are impulses to act and instead of acting we just bottle these emotions inside these bottled emotions um, create inner friction and you know this inner friction is all that uh, negativity we keep inside us and it's the reason why we um, get into these mindsets of negativity of being sad and eventually becoming chronically sad which is becoming depressed so the true question is can we get out of this uh, situation can we rewire our brains to start thinking differently can we stop these negative thinking patterns that have been creating these negative emotional responses in us and the question to that is yes we can i know it from personal experience i was depressed for a lot of years i had low self-esteem for a lot of years and i managed to change that but if you're looking for a quick and easy fix then 
this is not a video for you. I wouldn't recommend you watching the next part. But if you're ready to work on it, if you're ready to build daily habits consistently, then this is a good place to start.